Good morning. Sorry for the delay. Um, technology. Technology. <laughs> you can't do anything about it, can you? Okay, we are going to get started here very quickly. But first, I'm going to grab a playlist link for you. And I'm going to put it in the comments. Spotify playlist. So if you would like to um, have some music, you can just click that link. And if you have a free Spotify account, you may have to listen to a couple of commercials, but it's still worth it to have some music, but you can play whatever music you like. I am just going to take one quick second to make sure that everything is hunky-dory here. Hunky-dory. Who says these things? Perfect. Okay. All right. Welcome. 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 Let's get this music going. Let's get started. Why isn't my music playing? Oh, goodness. This is going to be one of those days, is it? Play. Oh, there we go. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's get started. Let's get started. Let's come on back here. Let's start with the march. As we're getting going, a couple things. We're already late, which I hate, but I can only do what I can do. If you are participating live or in the replay here on Facebook, leave a comment saying that you participated. And um, Ashley from the town of Kempville Rec Department is going to come in tomorrow and she's going to count all of the people who participated so that she can count your active minutes towards the community batter challenge that they're doing for the month of june with participation this is the last time i have to tell you that to comment that you participated and the reason it's the last time i have to tell you that is because as of tomorrow we can have outdoor classes let's do a heel dig so, starting on Thursday, June 17th, I was like, what's today? I don't know what the date is. June 17th, I will be returning to Oak Dean Park, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. For now, you don't have to pre-register. I can only have 24 people and myself, because the maximum limit is 25. And we're just going to see, hopefully, we won't have to turn people away. If we have to turn people away regularly, we'll go back to a registration. But since it's summer, we're kind of hoping that we'll be okay. I asked, and last year, I guess there was a few times where we had more than 24. But in general, we were kind of in like the 18 to 24 range. So hopefully we'll be okay. Anyway, of course, our outdoor classes are weather permitting, but hopefully we will be able to have the option to go back inside in the next few weeks as well. So we'll see. It is possible that we'll keep some of the classes outside in the park for the summer where we can have more people. But for anyone watching who usually comes to my morning classes in Kempville, I did request that at least one class be inside when it can be inside for those who can't do the park. So let's take those arms and push, push. So it's very exciting for me. <laughs> That on Thursday, I'll actually get to see humans. <laughs> it won't just be me talking into a box, which is all I seem to do is talk into a box. I just have to assume there's people there on the other side. The downfall, of course, is I'll have to actually allot time to travel <laughs> as opposed to just walking down the stairs. And we're going to take it to the side, reach. So my Zumba Gold ladies, that means Friday we get Zumba Gold. So exciting. Let's take it up. Reach up. Reach up. 
and I checked the weather because I woke up and it was rainy today. And then I thought, oh no, is it gonna is it gonna rain on our on our very first parade? But fingers crossed. It looks like it's supposed to be nice both Thursday and Friday. Four, three, two, march. So we are doing a circuit today. We got to do our warm up first. So we're going to glue down our heels and tap our toes. So yes, let's talk about let's talk about class in the park very briefly. Friday is going to be Zumba Gold as usual, 10:30 to 11:15. Tuesdays and Thursdays 10:30 to 11:30. And I think because we don't have any equipment at all, we're going to go back to sort of the body weight style class that we did last summer and march. So we'll still get cardio, we'll still get strength training, we'll get all of our bits, but depending on the size of the class, we won't have any seated component. All right, let's go into a step touch. So step together, step together. Arms reach and pull, pull, pull. Four, three, two, let's do a hamstring curl. Four, three, two, and march. Let's take it wider. Bring it back in. Out wide. And in. Out wide. Bring it on in. Then we're gonna march one, two, three, and tap. One, two, three, and tap. Then you know what? Let's walk forward and back. Up, two, three, and back, two, three. Come up and back. One more. And march. All right. Let's get a quick drink. Really quickly, what you're going to need for today's class is some floor space, obviously. You're going to need a chair or a support of some kind. If you have some light weights, go ahead and grab those and have those nearby. I got a new cop. Look, it's got a toucan on it. <laughs> um, our circuit is going to be two minute intervals ish because I'm just going to look at my watch which doesn't have a second hand at the moment because it's digital I can change the face head if you're wondering why sometimes it has seconds it doesn't we're going to start off with just a step touch so reach and pull so we're going to combine cardio strength balance maybe a little coordination Flexibility. So you get to go at your own pace. Starting with another cardio here because we want to make sure that we're nice and warm. Keep your chest lifted. And I really hope you've got some music going. 
whether it's the playlist I shared or not. Keep going. Got one more minute. Keep going, you're doing great. Pull, pull. Gosh, this is a long minute. There we go. All right, let's grab our weights. If you don't have any weights, you can do this without weights. We're gonna do a hammer curl. So we bring our arms up. So a regular bicep curl looks like this. Hammer curl is here. Squeeze that bicep. We squeeze, we squeeze. Relax your fingers a little bit though. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. <sighs> keep going, keep going. What I really need is like a big digital clock that has a second so I can sit in front of me. But since this is the last one, let's not worry about it. Oh. We're gonna change this. We're gonna go to a W curl. So we're gonna go sort of on an angle here. So when you come up, you make a little W shape with your arms. Still working biceps though, just slightly different. I'm gonna step over here, get my white pasty arms in front of the door and I just blend right in. Keep going. Keep curling, curl, curl. Last one, and we'll put our weights down. We're going to ground one foot. Opposite foot, you're gonna step up to the side, shifting your weight, and step in. All right, we'll do one more. And then we're gonna take this front and back. So you're gonna step forward, shifting your weight forward, step back, shifting your weight back. I know this isn't exciting. This is one of the most important things that we practice. Gotta keep that muscle memory nice and elastic when it comes to shifting our weight. We want our body just to do it without us thinking about it. This is the best way. Then let's combine them. So we'll come forward to the side, 
back and together. I'll turn front again. Forward, side, back, together. Forward, side, back, together. I'm going to go around one last time. And then we're going to switch sides. So opposite leg steps out, or foot rather. Well, I guess your leg too. It doesn't go on its own. Try to keep your toes pointing forward. And then we're going to go forward and back. So shifting your weight forward, shifting your weight back. Let's combine the two. We come forward, side, back, together. Two more times. Last one. And then we're gonna go into a heel jack. So we start with just with a heel dig. We add jumping jack arms, or you can reach out. I'm gonna reach out because the ceiling is not very high. So you can do the heel dig in front, or you can do a side tap. Really whatever you prefer, they both work. And if you'd rather do a real jumping jack, you go for it. You do you. Reach, reach. And itchy nose. The nice thing about a circuit, it's not complicated. We just get to a move and we stay there for a minute or two. Oh, my arms are tired. <laughs> These Monday night classes have tired me out. Keep going, we're almost there. Four, three, two, arms down. Let's stop for a second, get a drink. Let's come to the wall or your support. 
and we're going to do a little calf raise. So we're going to lift up onto our toes and down. Keep a bend in your knees. Two more, and then your option is going to be to lift one foot. Totally optional. Let's switch legs if you did lift one. One more, both feet down, keep going, lift, lift. Keep a little bend in your knees, abs engaged. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Then we're going to do double duty since we're already by a support or a wall. We're going to step back with one foot coming into a little bit of a calf stretch, but also that arm closest to the wall or support. You're going to reach your fingers back. You're going to press forward through your shoulder for a nice pectoral stretch. So we're getting a stretch through our upper body and our lower body. You might have to scooch that back leg a little further back. Relax your jaw. And then we'll slowly step in. We'll switch sides. Really good thing about pressing forward through that shoulder. Elbow can still have a bend in it. You don't have to have your arms straight. Nice stretch through the chest, the pectorials. And gently step back. A couple shoulder rolls. And then we're going to go back to an ankle focus. So... You may want it to be standing facing your wall or facing your chair. I'll just turn my chair here so that you have something to hold on to if you need to. Feet are hip width apart. We're going to start to lean forward right from the ankles until you feel your toes start to grip into the floor. And then we come back to neutral. So we come forward, trying to keep your heels on the ground. They're going to lift up just the tiniest bit. helping to strengthen the muscles in our feet, our ankles, and it's helping to keep us nice and steady on our feet, which of course is one of our main goals. A lot of accidents and injuries would be avoided if more people did these exercises to help strengthen their feet, strengthen their ankles and practice shifting your weight, which we already did. Let's do one more. And then we're gonna do the same thing, but to the side. This is gonna be very small. So you wanna either be standing again beside your chair or your wall. And instead of leaning forward, you're going to lean to the side. You're going to feel yourself come onto the outside of your foot. You're going to try and keep your foot grounded. So again, it's, just, it's not a huge lean. And we're just going to do one direction. And then we'll switch and do the other. 
trying to take your whole body. Really, this might feel more physically easy to execute than the other. But even though we're coming in, we're really pressing the inside of that foot into the floor so that we're not coming up onto our outside of our foot. Let's do one more. And then we'll switch sides. So I'm just going to pop this over here. Same thing going the opposite way. Now you may find the second direction, second side might be a little bit more challenging. This side's certainly harder for me. Do one more. And for this last one, I do want you right in front of a wall or a closed door, something that's not going to move because we're going to stand, I don't know, six, eight inches away from the wall. And you're going to bring your hands back and you're going to start to lean back, trying not to fall into the wall. But the reason we're doing it in front of a wall is so that the wall is there to catch us if we need to. And then come back to neutral. So if I were to turn to the side, I am coming back. It's very small though. So just like when we do the forward, you feel your toes grip into the floor. This way you sort of feel your heels like really grounding. You can also feel your inner thighs work a little bit. Super tiny. Let's do two more. Last one. All right, let's get a drink. I'm hot. I'm hot. All this balance shifting. Whew. Okay. All right. Let's grab our weights. We're going to do a tricep kickback. I'm going to come a little bit closer. So again, if you don't have any weights, you can do this without anything in your hand. You're going to bend your elbows. You're going to reach your elbows back. You're going to extend your arm back and in. So we extend and we bend. So when we look down, when our arms are extended, we shouldn't see our hands. If we look down and can see them, our elbows aren't back far enough. Extend and bend. Keep going. I've got an itch. I've got an itch. There we go. Reach. We reach. 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 Uh-oh, reach, reach. Hello, did you hear it was our last Tuesday morning class? Reach, reach. Here's your chair, reach, 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 reach. Keep going, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, we're going to do alternating arms. Single, single, single. Same move, just one arm at a time. One, two. Eight more. Seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one, and relax. Let's sit those weights down. We're actually going to sit ourselves down, but don't get too comfy. Don't get too comfy. 
legs are at 90 degrees or less so your toes are not tucked in underneath of you. Stop and pet a kitty. Hi. And we're going to stand up. And we're going to sit down. If you need to use your hands, you can. If you don't need to, don't. Let's, let's just carry a cat while we do it. Oof. <laughs> I don't recommend that. But I was a little scared she was going to try and jump on my lap. Whew. We're not going to do two minutes of this. Not with me carrying the cat. <laughs> Let's do four more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Oh, Rosie, we did it. Whew. Let's come down onto our forearms for a moment. Keep your chest lifted. Just getting a little bit of a stretch through our low back. Hi. And then we're going to come up onto our hands. We're going to press down, round up, press down. Round up, press down, round up. No, <laughs> press down, round up, press, and round. Two more. Last one. All right. We're going to do a row. We're going to do it seated. So if you have your weights, or if you have weights, rather, go ahead and grab them. If you don't, you can, of course, still do this without anything. We're going to have our legs pretty close together. Arms are going to be down long, okay? But we're going to look down towards the floor. But I want you to stay seated tall for a second so you can watch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend my arms in, elbows in next to my side, squeezing between my shoulder blades and extend. We squeeze and extend. Squeeze and extend. One thing I'm not doing is I'm not rounding through my back. So if I were to turn to the side, I'm not doing this. Give you my chest lifted. Let's see that nice angle of my back. Whoops, I just bonked you right in the noggin. Are you okay? And coming up and down. So we pull. You can join me now. We pull up, two, down, two. Here's up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. You need to stop getting in the way of the weights. A lift, squeeze between those shoulder blades. Keep that chest lifted, don't round through the back. If you're feeling this in your neck, you're probably rounding. Two more, squeeze those shoulder blades. Last one. And now you're gonna have the option. You can do this next exercise with the weights. I'm going to suggest that you do it without, but if you want to do it with, totally up to you. Start in that same beginning position. So I'm not laying right on my legs. I'm still kind of up. I'm up higher than I was the first time. Arms are down long. We're going to lift up and lower. We lift and lower. Still working that upper back and lower. We lift and lower. No rows. Lift and lower.
Last one. And then we're going to come up. Let's reach. And other side. And then we're going to come down onto our forearms again. But I want you, this time I want you to round through your back. So I want you to push back through the middle of your back, trying to create as much space between your shoulder blades as you can. Give a nice little stretch. Four, three, two, come on up. Let's do some shoulder rolls. And then let's stand it on up. We're gonna do balance. So standing beside your chair or behind behind, beside the wall. Check the time. Perfect. Weight into one leg. You're gonna lift the opposite foot up. Foot is in front, so if you start to lose your balance, you can just put your foot down into a step. So bending the knee, holding on to your support, maybe starting to come down into one or two fingers. Maybe testing yourself. Maybe you feel like you can go without any support this morning. Relax those shoulders. Remember our balance changes every single day based on how we slept, what we did the previous day, and about a million other things. Then let's switch sides. Whoo. Little bite. Let's bring that leg down. Let's just walk on the spot for a minute. Now we're gonna do some leg lifts. Yay! <laughs> so that was balance. Next exercise, we're still gonna be on one leg, which is gonna be weight bearing exercise because we're doing it after we did the balance. It's gonna be a little bit more challenging because your leg's already a little bit tired. But it's all right, that's how we help build bone density. So let's put our weight in our standing leg, a little bend in the knee, and we lift out to the side and down. We lift and lower. Then we'll switch sides. Four, three, two, one, and give your legs a little shake. All right, I'm gonna go on an angle here because our next exercise is one we haven't done in a long time. And it's an important one, so let's do it. We're gonna walk our tightrope. So hopefully you have a bit of space wherever you are. You don't have to stay in front of your screen the whole time, 
once you know what you're doing, you can take a meander around your room, maybe in your kitchen, go around your island, around your coffee table. I don't know. But we're just going to walk heel to toe. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to fall right over. Heel to toe or as close to heel to toe as you can. So if this is your best today, then that's what you're going to do. And you're just going to go for a while I'm trying to look forward versus straight down unless you're going to get run over by a pet. And then when you run out of real estate, uh-oh, where'd she go? You're going to turn yourself around and go back. Unless you're doing a loop, then you're just going to do your whole loop. Oh, I'm looking down. I said to look up. I'm not good at following my own instructions, apparently. The next time you get back to your, your spot, go ahead and stay there. So this obviously helps with balance, but the real reason we do it is because as we get older, we start to walk wider. Not quite like that. That's a little bit ridiculous. But we walk wider. So working on that tightrope helps us keep a more narrow gait. And we want to keep our legs hip width apart. When we start getting wider than that, it puts more pressure on our hips. So the next one, little penguin. A little bend in your knees, but you're otherwise not going to use your knees. You're going to lift straight up from your hip, straight up from your hip. I'm going to come right towards you. It's a little, you don't need to do that with your hands. So you can see I'm lifting, I lift, lift, lift. I'm going to angle myself so I don't come right into the camera. And then you can turn yourself around and you can go back. And then finally, we're going to do our exaggerated walk. So we're going to lift our leg up as high as it'll come. Place your foot straight down, heel ball toe. Heel, ball, toe, very short steps. Look how short these steps are. Knee as high as it'll go. Knee as high as it'll go. Same thing, you can take a couple loops around your room or be like me and just walk a straight line, turn around and come back. Whatever works in the space you're dealing with. So obviously you wouldn't walk down the sidewalk like this. But the reason we practice this is as we get older, we get very efficient in our movements. And we've probably all seen someone who walks along like this. They just barely lift their feet up. And there's nothing wrong with doing that sometimes. But if you always walk like that, if you had to step over something, the muscles would have atrophied. You wouldn't be able to lift your leg up. So the reason we exaggerate that is to make sure that we still have the ability to do that action. So Rosie, can I have this chair? I would like everybody to have a seat. You're already having a seat? Well, maybe we can share. Oh, Rose, your little stinker. All right, let's extend one leg. Opposite heel on the laces. You're going to draw the heel up to your knee and down. One more time. And then you're going to cross your ankle over the shin. Or if without using your hands, you can bring it above the knee. You can do that. Or you can bend the knee in.
Now, don't you get frisky on my lap. No. You should be feeling a stretch through your hip. Four, three, two. Let's bring that leg down. Extend that leg. Put the other heel in your laces. Draw the heel up and down and do. No. And then we'll cross our ankle over the shin. Or for the using your hands, you can bring it above the knee or bend the knee. No, you little stinky. I suppose if you're not listening to the same music as I am, it seems odd that I'm <laughs> doing this. All right, let's bring our leg down. Let's put our kitty down. Legs at 90 degrees, sitting nice and tall. We open and close. So we're going to finish off with the huge. Two more. The last one. And then we're going to bring our arms in. We're going to open and close. Rotator cuff. So I'm going to post today or tomorrow again with all the details about the classes in the park and Kempville. I'm also going to send out an email. So if you don't have the information on those Kempville classes and you wish to have them, um, watch for those this afternoon. And if you still haven't got anything, let me know and I will give you all the details. But I did post last week and I'll post again and send an email. Four, three, two, oh, one. And bring our arms down. Still working on that ankle stability and strength. Flat hands to the outside of your knees. You're going to lift up the outside, sorry, the inside of your shoes without letting your knees move. Rose, did you want to get out of the way so people could see what they're doing? I'm sorry. You want to go? One more. Two fists between your knees. You're going to lift up the outside of your shoes. This one's usually a bit smaller of a movement. I am going to go a little bit past 1130 to make up for the few minutes that we missed at the beginning of class. But if you need to leave right at 1130, please do um, just make sure that you comment and let us know that you participated. But don't feel that you have to stick for those extra few minutes if you have some results you need to be. Let's go ahead and lift one foot. If you have somewhere you need to be, we're all envious of the fact that you have somewhere you need to be because I don't need to be anywhere. <laughs> Oh, let's switch directions. And then just relax your foot and we're going to rotate from the hip. And then relax and then we'll switch.
that other direction. And then that whole leg. And we'll relax, let's do some shoulder rolls. Oh, last one, lowering your ear towards the shoulder, maybe flex that opposite hand. Slowly lift into the other side. Gently lift, chin towards the chest. Slowly lift, and let's do a semicircle, ear towards shoulder, gently down towards chest. The opposite shoulder, gently back down and around. And slowly lift, let's reach across, shoulder stretch. Reach back. And we'll switch sides or reach across. Or reach back. And then we're going to bring the arm down or reach up and over. And to the other side. Come back up nice and tall, deep breath in. So we exhale, turn to look to your side wall. Gently back to the front, inhale, exhale, look the opposite way. Slowly back to the front. Let's extend one leg. Reach that same arm forward until you feel a stretch all along the back of the leg. Then you can continue to reach or you can relax the hand down. Relax those shoulders. And then we'll switch sides. Extend the leg, little bend in the knee. Same arm reaches forward until you feel that stretch. Keep lifting those toes up. And bring the leg back. We're going to do the rest of our seated exercises, and then we'll do our last two standing stretches at the very end. So let's take each finger, touching it to your thumb, trying to make round circles. Same thing with straight fingers.
and then pinky finger and thumb, pointer finger and thumb, try to go to opposite directions. And give your hands a shake. Let's turn our palms up, arms extended, palms down. Palms up, elbows in, rotate. And then palms together, drawing down just until you feel that stretch. Backs of the hands together, lifting up just until you feel that stretch. Bring the arms down. Let's reach back. Grab onto the back of your chair or just reach through your fingertips, opening through your chest. Slowly come up, make a fist, grab onto the fist, round through your back, lower your arms. And then gently release, let's stand up, let's do our last couple stretches. Quadricep stretch, grabbing onto your pant leg, sock, shoelace, ankle, foot, whatever, or placing your foot on your chair. And we'll switch sides. So again, grabbing onto your pant leg or whatever, or try not to fall over. There we go. Little bend in your standing leg. And bring your foot down. Finally, we're gonna finish off with a calf stretch. So stepping back, heel right to the floor. Ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. You should feel a stretch and the back of the lower leg there. You may have to scoot your foot a little further back. And we'll switch sides. Oh, my watch is now dead. Anyway, <laughs> let's step in. Let's take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. And again. And exhale. One last time. We are going to call that a day. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Comment. Let me know if you participated. This is our last class. Thank you so much for hanging out with me virtually these last weeks month. I'm not sure how long it's been. Timelines. I have lost all track of everything. Um, thank you to the town of Kempfel who has sponsored these classes for you so you could have them for free and so that I could get paid, which both things are wonderful. And I am so excited to see you in person at the park. Hi, Pam. Hi, Marie. Hi, everybody else who is here. Hi, Lori. Um, thank you for hanging out. If you are not local here and you are sad that this is the end of the virtual classes. I still teach at least one free live virtual class a week in my Facebook group. I'll put the link for that below. And also I have a couple of free Zumba classes each week for those who are interested in that. Hi, Carolyn. I hope your internet was more behaved better this morning. Um, so I'll make sure they have all the info for all those things. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. I will see some of you later, and I will see some of you later this week in person. Bye.